Let's talk about circumference of a circle. So here is something like a little planetoid. And here's Tom at the surface of the planetoid. And the diameter of a circle is a segment that runs from one point on the circle to another point, but it must run through the center, and that's called the diameter. The radius is a segment that begins at the center of the circle and goes to a point on the circle. So there's a relationship that exists between diameter and radius. The radius is half of the diameter, or another way to say that is the diameter is twice the radius. Now, the circumference of a circle is the distance, or if we want to put it another way, the circumference is the perimeter of the circle. It's the length of the bounded arc that surrounds the circle. So Tom is walking in a straight line on this little planetoid, and the distance that he walks until he returns to the point where he started, that's the circumference of the circle. So you can think of the circumference of a circle as the perimeter of a circle. There's a nice little handy dandy formula for the circumference. We'll use capital C to represent that circumference. And it turns out that the circumference of every circle, every two-dimensional standard circle in the universe is 2 times the number pi times the radius of the circle. If you're in a pinch and you can't remember what pi is, you can use the ratio of 22 divided by 7, and that's a pretty good approximation uh, to pi. So you'll get a pretty good answer if you use that. All right, so that is the concept of radius, di diameter, and circumference. God bless you wherever you are today.